Emma Walker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure the Prime Minister will join me in congratulating my honourable friends on this side of the House celebrating the first anniversary of our election this week. Yay! Prime Minister, in December, the four remaining members of the Social Mobility Commission resigned, with the Chair citing the Government's inability to devote the necessary energy and focus to the social mobility agenda. Does the fact that several key roles on the Commission were left unfilled for almost two years reflect this Government's lack of commitment to achieving not just social mobility for the few, but true social justice for the many? Prime Minister. Can I say to the Honourable Lady that I congratulate all members of the House who uh, came into this House in uh, the 2017 general election, including those of my colleagues on uh, this side of the chamber. And, uh, I, I, hope, I hope others of my colleagues will, will um, not take it amiss if I say particularly the 12 Scottish Conservatives who came at that election. Can I say to the Honourable Lady, in relation to the issue of social mobility, uh, this is something that this Government does indeed take very seriously. We take it seriously through the policies that we are implementing to help to ensure that our young people get the skills that they need, as my Honourable Friend from Cheltenham was talking about in the first question, to ensure that they can take the jobs of the future. I want a country where how far somebody gets on is not a reflection of their background or where they come from, but is a reflection of their abilities and their willingness to work hard. Mrs. 